Should an 18 year old be held accountable for something he said when he was 16? That's the question that's being considered and argued about as Harvard University decided to rescind the admission of 18 year old conservative activist Kyle Kashov. Now, Kyle is one of the survivors of the Parkland, Florida mass shooting, which occurred last year, February 14th, 2018, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, in which a gunman killed 17 students and teachers. Now, while many of the survivors of the mass shooting used it as an opportunity to fight back against gun violence across this country, as well as to specifically fight against the entrenched power of the NRA, Kyle was embraced by conservatives when he took the opposite tact and decided to stand up for the NRA. And while his conservative worldview may give us some insight into what he was thinking, the question still remains, should he be held accountable at 18 for words that he said at 16? Now it was brought to the attention of Harvard University that Kyle used a shared Google document as an opportunity to go on a racist tirade and to drop the N word as many times as he possibly could. Now for some conservatives, this has turned out to be the very worst thing that has ever happened in academia. Conservative commentator Matt Walsh had this to say on Twitter, quote, Kyle Kashov used the N-word when he was 16 and now his Harvard acceptance has been rescinded. Ralph Northam dressed in blackface as an adult and he is still governor. That tells you everything you need to know about how the rules are applied in our society. Woo boy. So much for the intellectual part of the intellectual dark web, because he throws all sense of intellectualism out the window with this intentional fallacy known as to quoque, or the appeal to hypocrisy, is a fallacy that intends to discredit the opponent's argument by asserting the opponent's failure to act consistently in accordance with its conclusions. Another way to understand to quoque is to think of it as a whataboutism, where instead of addressing the issue at hand, Matt Walsh decides to throw out something that's irrelevant to the issue at hand. Ben Shapiro of the Daily Wire said, is this the new standard that if you said something on a private message board when you were 16 years old, that we should deny you the possibility of a degree at a top college, so long as those who join you on that message board decide to out you? He went on to say, this move by Harvard is the worst move I've ever seen in academia, and it represents the establishment of a standard so insane that no one can possibly withstand it. Now, never mind the fact that for Ben Shapiro, the very worst thing that could possibly happen in academia is that a university will hold a student accountable for his or her words or actions. Setting that aside, his statement begs the question, what standard did Harvard University have that is so insurmountable that it is insane and impossible? Was it the standard that we have as a society that a 16 year old really should know better than to go into a shared document and drop the N word as many times as he possibly could? Is it that? Or is it that a university is looking at the behavior of a student in high school to determine admission into college? Because that's quite literally what universities have done throughout the history of universities. Is not this the same Ben Shapiro who's asking us to be merciful and offer forgiveness to this 18 year old Kyle Kashov when he offered, when Shapiro offered no forgiveness and no mercy to 12 year old Tamir Rice who was killed by police officers? This is what Shapiro said in 2015, quote, remember Tamir Rice? He's a 12 year old shot by police while going for a pellet gun in his waistband. The left and the media pointed to the situation as evidence that white police officers want to kill black boys. Only one problem, two new reports say the killing was justified. Justified, a 12 year old playing in a park with a pellet gun, his murder was justified to Ben Shapiro. And yet Shapiro sees what happened to Kyle Kashov as the worst thing that could possibly have happened. That by itself should put everything that Shapiro says going forward into context for you. It seems as though conservatives have an expectation that universities aren't going to look at the behavior of a student in high school to determine his eligibility to attend their university. And that's simply not how this works. Yeah, but what about his free speech? Yeah, that's not how free speech works in this country. You are free to say whatever you want to say in this country, but that does not make you immune to the social ramifications that come as a result of what you say. Yeah, Ben, but we all make mistakes when we're kids. You're right, we all make plenty of mistakes, but for some people in this country, our childhood mistakes end up getting us killed. And for others in this country, there's no accountability whatsoever. But here's an important point that I don't think many people are making. 
if you look at what Kyle did and the context of him using the N word in the manner in which he did, you can see that it was not an accident. Quite to the contrary, Kyle was intentionally trying to cause and inflict harm with his language. Yeah, but it was just a joke. Perhaps it was a joke, but the intent of his joke was malicious. He wanted to cause harm. The point is this, there's a subset of American society who finds pleasure and joy in the pain that they can cause other people. They pass it off as merely joking. They pass it off as their First Amendment free speech rights. But at the core of it, it is their desire to laugh and joke about the misery that they are able to cause other people. Or as Adam Sewer of The Atlantic put it, the cruelty is the point. And is not that the exact type of character that Harvard should weed out from its university?